Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Herculean Climate Solutions presentation. Imagine for a moment a father and a teenage daughter talking about a climate project from school. She says, this climate crisis is all your fault, Dad. You and your generation made this mess. What are you going to do about it? I was that teenage daughter. My father, Steve, set up HCS with Jerry to answer this challenge. The process we will describe today is our latest and largest solution that is big enough to address climate change. 40 billion tonnes of CO2 are produced each year. Around 4 billion tonnes comes from the thousands of cement plants, steel works and chemical plants around the world. These huge industries face increasing carbon taxes and costs. To stay in business, they urgently need multi-million ton solutions on the same scale as their problem. We will supply these operating companies with a bold new process that will convert their CO2 waste into a stable bicarbonate solution. Operators will buy a license from us and pay a small disposal fee for every ton of CO2 removed. Our new CO2 disposal process will build a huge new industry, creating large numbers of skilled jobs, protecting communities and future generations. We are focusing initially on the lime industry, that's calcium oxide, not tequila. The president of the International Lime Association has offered to support us with trials on his production site here in Malaysia. There are currently no affordable solutions for most of these CO2 heavy industries. Despite this, they will continue to operate, even as other sectors decarbonize. The process can also be used with any source of CO2, including from direct air capture. Current CO2 capture systems and disposal, such as CCS and BEX, cost hundreds of dollars per tonne and have still not been widely deployed. The HCS system will dispose of the CO2 at a significantly lower cost, projected at between $20 and $30 per tonne, economic enough for most operations. Mimicking and accelerating natural limestone weathering, our process may be licensed by any operator or project developer. High concentration CO2 is taken from the customer's capture system. The gas is combined with seawater and crushed limestone in the HCS bicarbonation process. At a cement or steelworks, the relatively small HCS unit is located alongside the main production plant. The unit produces a large flow of seawater with an elevated level of calcium bicarbonate dissolved within it. The water is returned to the sea where it helps reverse acidification. We have spoken with the European and World Cement Organizations, the ILA and companies operating in the sector. They recognize that the bicarbonation process will take several years to develop and deploy at a large scale, and we need to start now. It will take time for full-scale units to enter operation. When they do, they will generate large revenues from two sources. A design license of $500,000 paid by the operator to build the plant with their existing construction partners and a small charge for each ton of CO2 processed. Profits in year 10 would be $35 million. As we are all too aware, the climate challenge is enormous. Significant progress is being made in energy efficiency improvements, renewables and better storage. However, the elephant in the room is the IPCC's target of 10 to 20 billion tonnes per year of negative emissions, which requires actual CO2 removal, not avoidance of releases. The HCS bicarbonation process is big enough to solve a meaningful part of this problem. We envisage having 100 units operating by year 10. By year 15, we anticipate six to 700 plants operating, removing 500 million tons per year and ambitious expansion thereafter. We have a varied and growing team. Co-founders Steve and Jerry are worldwide chemical engineers. Charlie, myself and Rohit contribute our marine, environmental and sales expertise. Paul and Paul have been invaluable advisors and Aral and his team provide engineering services. Our dream is to build a process that can remove 1 billion tonnes of carbon dioxide per year. Thank you very much. The members of the jury to ask questions to this project. 
let's go to the jury and see what kind of questions they have based on the presentations we just had from Herculean Climate Solutions. There you are. And, uh, well, which jury member can I invite to post the first question? You see me? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yes, um, so thank you for the presentation. My, my first question is, um, you say you will need highly concentration capture, so highly concentrated flu. Will you be able to do the system with just flu gas with unconcentrated CO2? Yeah, can you hear me okay? Absolutely. Yeah, cool. <laughs> We've had uh, a couple of faults with it today, so I'm glad you can hear me. Um, yeah, we um, we would be able to handle some dilute streams, so uh, that's certainly possible. But we have, uh, as we've looked around the industry, we see that uh, there is quite a lot of already very concentrated carbon dioxide available. So a, a cement plant has 20-25% CO2 and is relatively straightforward to concentrate that further. Around a natural gas plant or an oil refinery, there are plenty of 100% CO2 streams already. So our intention is to start with the lime industry where we already have some good contacts, expand out into the cement and steel industry where there's a very large need for the process. And then beyond that, pick up the um, refinery and gas plant CO2 streams where the concentration has already been done. Okay, yeah. one and a half minute to go. One more question probably based on the... Steve. Steve, yes. what do you see as the biggest challenge implementing this project and what are you doing about it? Okay, so we've got a series of development uh, trials to do. So uh, we're building the rigs and uh, we've got a couple of very particular chemistry questions to answer. So uh, that's all in hand. Then we have a detailed design to do and we need to find good large partners to work with to build, you know, proper size uh, demonstration units that can do hundreds of thousands or millions of tons a year of CO2 removal. So uh, finding partners is going to be one of the important things. Okay, Michelle, I saw your hand. A short uh, question for a short answer, please. Um, thank you. I, it looks fascinating. I'm interested to know what you see as the potential social impact, particularly in terms of job creation. Yep, indeed. So the, the social aspect is quite interesting because it's not a direct social impact. So it's really important that um, individuals do as much as they can, but it's equally important that large companies find the tools to do the massive emissions that they have. So it's a um, like the cement industry indirectly pe helps people with their homes and construction and so on. Our bicarbonation industry will indirectly help people with their large-scale emissions. Thanks so uh, much. Uh, time's <laughs> up, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, uh, it was great to have you, and uh, let's see if you're going to be one of the winners. <laughs>